Hey, Beetlejuice. Hey, what's up, bro? Who is this man? And why are so many Americans so fascinated with him? To the millions of people in the Howard Stern audience, he is simply known as Beetlejuice. I'm Beetlejuice, baby. Tonight, we look at the man in the center of the phenomenon. Tonight, the Howard Stern Radio Show gets up close and personal with Beetlejuice. Now let's meet a, a show favorite, a, a real classic. How you doing? Hey, Beetlejuice. Uh, that's how, you be how you doing? That's Beetlejuice. I got a big head. Yeah, you got a small head. I got a head lost. I swear those headphones look like they're going to crush your head like a walnut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get high with the women. And my name is Beetlejuice. Arguably one of the most popular guests on the Howard Stern radio show, Beetlejuice's rise to fame began in Jersey City only 10 miles from Howard Stern's New York studio, but in reality, a world away. As soon as I seen Beetlejuice, I, from the moment I laid eyes on him, I knew that, um, I knew he was going to be the man. Talent manager Sean Rooney met Beetlejuice in a local neighborhood bar and immediately spotted the qualities that would propel Beetlejuice to stardom. Beetlejuice's head is approximately 15 and 3 quarter inches uh, around. Average head is around 23 inches. Beetlejuice is approximately um, four feet, three inches tall, and weighs about 92 pounds. But despite his small stature, Beetlejuice always dreamed big. Beetlejuice, did you ever think you would become such a big star? Yeah. So it's no surprise to you? No, it's no surprise for me, no. You knew it had to be Yeah, it I knew it, yeah, I knew that I had it, yeah. When did you realize that maybe you're a little different from other kids? Well, I'm a little taller, you know, a little bigger, you know. You say you're a little taller than the other kids? Yeah. How tall are you? Me? About six nine. To find the origin of Beetlejuice's unshakable self-image, we traveled back to his childhood home, the Marion Housing Projects in Jersey City, New Jersey. Growing up, Beetlejuice was simply known as Lester. Raised in a tight-knit family, the second youngest of six children, Beetlejuice was especially close with his mother. Yes, my mom. Hi, how are you? Uh, Though a popular student and competitive athlete, his biggest obstacles were back in the projects. It was just in the neighborhood people would pick at him, you know, but he handled himself. Suck my balls, you <laughs> He handled himself well. And how about his famous nickname? How did Lester become known to the world as Beetlejuice? How did you get the name Beetlejuice? Uh, that's my name. Beetlejuice got his famous nickname from the movie Beetlejuice where um, the man's head was shrunk um, because his head is, you know, a little bit smaller than a normal size. Armed with a new name, Beetlejuice went right to the top, surprising even those closest to him. Yeah, very surprised, very surprised. Yes. Now a bona fide star, Beetlejuice is living life on his terms. He's out of the projects and in his own place, where he sleeps, when he wants to sleep, he eats what he wants to eat. This is my breakfast. And surrounds himself with his first love, animals. Yeah. They like you. My dog likes me. I'm the boss, you know. When I say hill, that means hill. That means he means he sits down. So he listens to you, right, Yeah, he listens. Yeah, he listens to me because I'm the boss, you know. Hill, hill, hill. There you go. There you go. There you go. And fame has also changed his life in other ways. Oh, what's up, baby? Beetlejuice, do you get more attention from women now that you're famous? Oh, they call me once in a while. Yeah. Most of the time they call. Sometimes they call me day and night, sometimes in the daytime, sometimes in the morning time. They ask me, uh, they just ask me, oh, Beetle Baby, when are you going to call me? Being Beetlejuice isn't all about fun. It's also serious business. Beetlejuice, what, what is your job now? What do you do for a living? What I do for a living? I talk for a living. Excuse me, you do what? I do torture for a living. Okay, explain that to the audience. What, what is well, it? Well, I do torture for a living. Yeah! 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 Dwarf tossing. Beetlejuice and his crew can now command up to $600 an hour to be thrown across the room onto a mat. Regardless of his fame or notoriety, in the end, who Beetlejuice truly is can only be determined by those who know him best. Hello, 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 h
his friends. He's a caring man and uh, he's very generous. He'll give you his back off. He'll give you his shirt off his back if he has to. Beetlejuice is my best friend. Yeah, it's like one big family. Right in my heart, right here. Yeah. His family. I'm very proud of my little brother and I love him very much. He thinks he's a champ. <laughs> and you think he's a champ too, don't you? He is a champ. In my eyes, he is a champ. And finally, himself. Beetlejuice, do you consider yourself a role model? Always a role model. Always. So do you think kids should look up to you? Yeah. What can they learn from Beetlejuice? Well, they can learn a lot of things from me. You know, sit down, play cards, whatever you want to do. You know, sit around, you know. Just sit around, let's drink, you know. That's all.